on this computer. Yes. All right, Jim, we are good to go. Well, listen, I appreciate you all coming this evening. I hope you enjoy this. I think you will. Um, we have one problem we haven't been able to solve yet. I had a modeler contact me and ask me if we could do uh, live captioning because he has a, he's hearing impaired. And we've tried to, uh, to do this and we can't do it. Uh, so we are released right now. We haven't figured out a way to do it without buying a software and, and all that. And, and, you know, we're, we're doing this with free apps. So that's just not a possibility mm -hmm. right now. Um, so at this point we can't do that. Uh, but we're, we'll keep trying and, you know, I'm sorry for him. I don't know how many others out there are like that, but, uh, there's just nothing that I know that we've been able to find to solve that problem. Let me introduce uh, the oh. featured modeler here, Paul Sanchez. Uh, Paul is from Spain. Uh, he's staying up awful late to uh, to be yeah. with us this evening. Um, yeah. I met uh, yeah, about, met Paul, uh, I guess, several years ago. Yeah. Yes. And he he has a product yes. that he yes. calls Paper uh, Humans. It's uh, it Paper makes three D. Uh, yeah, it makes 3D uh, figures. Body. I've built some. Hmm. He's made some special ones for me for two articles that I've written. Uh, one a bunch of firemen and the other uh, motorcycle riders. Hmm. So uh, I really uh, I really enjoyed it and I, I think you'll uh, learn something from it. So Paul, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, um, thank you and uh, hello everyone. As Jim say, I'm Paul Sanchez. I'm from Spain. It's a little bit uh, late uh, here in Spain. It's about 1 a.m. And uh, thank you for this opportunity to to you will give me to me to show uh, this product. And as Jim said, it's about uh, uh, 3D figures, uh, small in different scales. And uh, well, let's start to to. To explain what it's what is paper human. Uh, paper human is uh, how to explain is a uh, scale figures all made with paper. And uh, uh, what I what I did is uh, try to do is to 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 find the three D shape of the body uh, with all the paper. For that, I designed as the different layers to that if you glue to the, together you will find the the, the, the 3d shape of the arms uh, legs and torso and all together is a body and what is the interesting of the figure is uh, you can pose the figure as the as the desired part of you want to fit in the in the model so uh, i want to show you something and uh, let me let me see if I can change the camera um, because this is new to me. Okay. Um, no, I cannot change the camera. Oh, this is a little bit. Uh, oh well. Well, I will try to do this this other way. Well, <laughs> sorry about that because I, I need to figure out how to change the, the another camera and well it seems that uh, it's not uh, oh okay here yeah. okay so I don't know if you can see them the the model okay you have you can win the the, the, the figure to fit in the model like like this pilot, uh, you can see it. Uh, perhaps yes, perhaps. And here, the we have some examples of uh, another paper human I build, and I hope you can see. Okay. Okay. Well, you can see What's here different those, kind of. This one is one thirty-three. It's about five centimeters long. Okay. And this is the first uh, scale I built because uh, it was uh, my own need to 
for the for the models uh, airplanes model I will and I wanted to introduce the the pilots and I search oh if the, if I can find another uh, if another brand that made the the figure but I didn't find it so I decided to to this to to design it and build it for them and uh, well, I have designed several kind of uh, scales and models, and here is uh, even you can see zombies and and this one, this little one of, of here, is what we are going to do today. This uh, 164 or S scale. It's a very small one, and today we'll teach you how to build one of these. Well, one of the bikers like this one. Well, this is one request for Jim for the new tracks. Uh, so I start how, how we can handle this. I start, or you can say something, or hey, Jim. No, I think you, why don't you try to show us how to build one? Okay, so the the kit when uh, we are I, I will talk about all the time with the ones uh, the S scale one sixty four and the kit is the kit is something like this and Jim may have familiar with because he saw something and is uh, well is two bodies in one kit you can uh, build Two figures. Here said it's about two, two figures, and uh, it contains. When you open, it contains the two little bags with the parts of the the, the body, and then here we have even in, in paper uh, several parts of uh, pants jacket shirt uh, boat and uh, all all the stuff we are going to see each one in uh, step by step by step so what we are going to need first okay let me wait let me take this out this model so I have room for build the model the tools we will need so uh tweezers Something I did. It has super first. It's super glue. It's uh, cyano basset glue. It's uh, quick dry glue. Uh, colors marks to to paint the borders of the papers. And uh, I prefer to use um, uh, alcohol basset because it's a little bit better than the water bases markers. And uh, okay. In the wait, let me see how in some okay. in the in the body you can find the part of the of the figure and we will have the head. Oh small one to see it. <laughs> uh, very small. I don't know if you can see one. Well, this is the head. That's tiny. And this is some parts for the arms are, and legs. And the torso with an uh, extra part of the leg. In my website, you can download the, the instruction, the full instructions to wield with uh, diagrams and all as you can print as you want. And uh, even with color or whatever. Yeah, some tips for the buildings. And let's start building uh, the body. As, as, as I say first, uh, this one of features of the this superhuman is that you can uh, move the part of the the body to fit in uh, every pose you want. By example, this one that this is stand up, or the other you can uh, pose the engineer to fit in the in a chair or inside of the, the machine. And 
let's uh, try to do a simple one so we have, so we can have time to to do it so we start as the instruction um, says we start for the torso it's a main part of the body and uh, okay we cut out the piece with a sharp blade well i i guess the most of the viewer is, is familiar with all the tools when uh, when talking about paper models this is a little bit different from from the normal paper model because uh you will see in the a little further uh, because uh, in when you build uh, by sample a plane or or a tank you, you don't um, how to say you don't uh, touch too much you don't manipulate too much the the piece of the paper in this case with the by sample with the pants we we will uh, bend a lot so so the pants can fit in the in the in the, in the arm on the in the leg and we will we will see that in the in the future okay okay we take out the part is they have the numbers i don't know if you can see oh, no. well inside you can uh, you have the, the number of the parts so it's quite easy to to follow and build oh. it requires a little bit uh, time to to do it jim uh, <laughs> can't play that also because we have a wheel sound of our model and uh, when when you will when uh, you build the first one you will get a custom made to, to build the, the others oh, you need to cut it uh, very well because i am working with uh, watching the the camera of the so it's okay you have the fine part of it you can use white glue to to glue all the parts because it's made of paper uh, but uh, for now, I will use a super glue because it's uh, quick, um, and so we can finish uh, early. But you can use uh, white glue, so it's, uh, it requires a little bit of, of time, a little more time. Okay. Uh, you only in, in, with the main part of the torso. You follow the number one, two, three, four, and. Oh, this is going to be a little bit uh, difficult. And you glue it together. I start with the tree. Okay, and a drop. Yes, it's a drop. Then you glue on it. And so on. I, I don't know. I. Everyone is is uh, follow me. Everyone uh, have any question or something? Well, so That's far, foot, it right? seems pretty straightforward. Okay. So, oh, what is going? Okay. Who do you think to how they craft their own juice and the four seconds Okay. This is the four parts for the mind torso. Oh, I don't know if we can use okay. So we have the 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 torso here. This is the S scale, one sixty one sixty four. The um, is quite uh, small from the other ones and it's, it's very small so it's uh, a little bit easier to build one bigger but in this case well is uh, also you can you can uh, you can uh, you can build it okay once you have the torso um you have decided your pose in the, of the your figure um you will need to think how to glue the legs in a sitting position or stand up position for as I said, for this time I will 
with an easy one is a stand up position like like this one and okay let's let's continue with the legs okay uh, let's take it uh, further uh, as the same as torso is all the part have the numbers and what you see in the the instructions the grammar for each leg you will find one two three and four and glue together even the this part that is uh, in the in the foot so let's glue them together and build the legs and let's start by the left Dylan, can you make the screen larger oh there we go that just did it i think okay let's see if it slips back Big. to paul close you're small yeah it's it's giving me a bandwidth issue so oh uh, i don't know if it's me or what or i don't know it might be it might be an issue with your signal but that's odd hmm. not to be just well so i continue to with the leg Make sure all the parts are well. Let's try the other one because it's the same. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, what I'm doing now is try to take out the part of the legs, the left legs. Um, yeah, this one. It requires a little bit of efforts. So out. if I'm if I'm getting you correctly, basically what you do when you're making the limbs is you're layering multiple layers of the material. Yeah. 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 So, in, well, in this scale is, uh, we don't use too much layers, but in the others, we will, we will need more layers. In this scale is just a few layers. And yes, this will uh, make the shape the three D shape of the of the part in this case uh, the leg, and uh, well for that you need to cut out and glue them together. Once you have the the parts all glued together, you can uh, bend it for the desired pose, and that's how you will the 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 full body of the of the model okay we have so just a few of them and then we glue them together like the instruction say So we can find the to the shape of the of the leg. Yeah, I have a problem with the glue because it does doesn't glue anything. What kind of glue? Oh yeah, it's gluing. Um the other one. As I said, uh, it's better to use white glue, the normal white glue of the school, because this is paper and uh, you can glue it. The, because the white glue 
will make you correct the, 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 the piece when you are building the shape of the model. In this case, I'm using uh, super glue, it's uh, quite uh, fast dry and it's a little bit complicated, but uh, well, this, I, I'm doing using this for, for this time so we can uh, finish uh, a little bit uh, fast the, the model. Okay. Paul, if I remember right, for the motorcycle figure, there were four layers for the leg. Yeah. Yes. In this case, we in this case we have the four layers. The I have to say that I use different different things of, of papers. This is more thicker than, than the others, so I can. So with that, I can have mm, less layers. Use less layers to find the three D shape. It's a uh, well, it's a special uh, effect that I normally use in all the models. So um, I don't know if you, all you can see. It's it's, it's quite it's like a draft, but uh, yeah. this is because the the size of the scale of the figure and. Uh, as we will dress up the the, the figures, uh, we don't uh, require a lot of uh, too much uh, details inside of the the body. But this is the main shape of the of the leg. So we have one leg. So let's try to build the another leg. Now, well, most of the figure is is doing like that, building uh, uh, layer by layer. And you will find uh, you will get uh, the full body. Uh, the the most funny part is when you dress up the the, the figure. Uh, all depend of the what you can find what is more interesting or or not. For me, it's uh, more uh, funny to dress up the the figures. Okay. Oh, I continue to cut out the part. And so we can get the other leg. This, the, well, uh, for me, I, um, I choose this uh, technique because with for with one of one figure you can get all the poles all the figures you want so you don't need to exactly search for a seat position or a running position or stand up uh, sleeping you just buy one and then you dress up as the cloth of your unit and you have all the all the exact position of the figure you need for your model. Okay, let's glue all the parts together. Oi. Dun, 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 dun. Let a little bit to dry. And let's continue with the other part. Okay. And the four layer is, is on. So we have the two legs. Okay. Right and left legs. We will glue them to the to the body, to the torso. Something like that. And just making sure everything is correct. Okay, and then let's uh, 
glued into the torso. First one leg, then we let them to dry a little bit. And the other leg. Hmm. No, that's why I don't like this kind of glue. Yeah, it sticks to everything. Yeah, I stick everything except that you want to stick. Well, I will. I will choose the the other one because it's one I prefer to use every time. Just a little drop in each part, and then we glue them together. Okay. For the cloth, pants, shears, it's, it's better to use a white glue because it smooths the the piece, the part of the what you want to, to wield, and it's easy to mold in the around the body. And this is going to take a little bit time of when it dries, so we let it there and then decide to build the, the arms. Okay, and let's continue with the arms. As, as all the parts, we have numbers in the parts we, we, we follow. And one, two, three, four, as the instructions say, we have the diagrams. You glue all them together and find the the shape of the arms. As um, perhaps you notice that I I am uh, left this part for the end because it's it's better when you have all the shape uh, built. It's better to so you can stand up the let stand up by inside the figure. So. That's why I left this uh, part of the foot right at the end. Um, make sure this is doing very well. Okay. And we continue with the arms. We cut the, the pad, nice stick to the mine. How thick is the paper you're cutting? Uh, this is about, uh, hmm. um, well, I never, it's uh, 200 grams. Hmm. It's about half, half millimeter. The, the thicker one is one millimeter, and uh, the other is about half millimeter. Okay. Is, well, it's, I don't know if you use this kind of um, measurement, but it's uh, well here in Spain you can uh, call this paper two hundred grams. Just bad. The arm with the hand. Don't worry if you bend a little bit the part because of this paper, you can uh, go back to the desired position. That's one of the features of the of the model. Is they are very small parts, and you need to work very carefully to so don't drop the floor any part because you will miss this part forever. Forever. Okay. 
Okay, we have the three points. We will we can build uh, one arm. We use uh, fast dry glue this time. Tum, tum, tum. Just one drop. And we glue. Oui. Okay, and we almost have the one arm. The other arm, the other part layer. Okay, it's glue. As we did in the leg, we have, well, I don't know if you can see this thing. We have the full shape of the arm. Oh. Hmm. Cannot focus this way. Oh, yes. No. Well, technology. No, you cannot see it. You cannot focus too much. Well, I have. I don't know. You can see this. It's a basic, a basic arm. But what we need to do is uh, the complete shape shape of the the body. We don't need too much detail in in the inside of the body. But we continue with the other arm. And try to build them the same like the first one. Okay. Each part you need to cut them very well. The first part. Uh, for color, the the uh, skin color of the body, you can use the marker, the pens, or you can use. Uh, whatever acrylic paint or another modern color if you desire. Normally I use this kind of market colors so, so you can uh, you can color for the skin, the desired color of your skin. It's typical kind of flesh flesh color. So we will color the, the model when uh, we build it all together. Okay. Yeah, we have the last part of the arm. The idea is to get something like this, several layers of, of cardboard, different thickness, and the head. This is one twenty-five scale. It's, it's very, it's much bigger than than the one sixty-four scale. Uh, okay, let's glue together all the parts. We have the the middle part. Of the iron, the piece number two, we glue only the number one with just one drop. And let's do it fast because it's uh, quite glue. Um there we have so the other side no here we have hmm. okay. 
we have the both arms will. And we will try to glue in with the rest of the body. No, it's not glued to it. This is the, well, the, this is the white glue that is required more time to set and dry. And let's see if we can uh, accelerate we using the, the other glue. Uh, Okay, we put it up here. Ooh. It's very small, this is one. Okay. No, not to my finger. Let them just five some seconds to let them dry. Well, as you can see, you can stand up by themselves the model, the figure. Um, but not too much, man. Just a few seconds to let the glue set and dry. And the arms, well, we, we need to think how we can, how we want to build the, the model. Mm, for this time, just. Uh, an easy one, it's just the arm. Okay. One job. Don't worry if you mix the left or right arm because in this case, the model is too small, so the details we can uh, not appreciate appreciate too much the this uh, difference between left and right arm. In the instructions, here you have here tells you which is the right leg and uh, left leg uh, with the arm also, but uh, well, it's it's not too much. Uh, special with the arms but because it's too small to appreciate the difference okay do we Okay, we let them a little, some seconds to dry. It's important to, to let all the pieces very glue all them together. As you can see, yeah, the model is, can stand up by itself. More, more or less, okay. and this time we can cut out the part of the foot of the boot. So we can better place the feature in wherever we want. Hmm. 
in this case you have clearly well it's a small but you can see the which is left and which is right what i do is just place the the salts on a surface and then i glue the figure on 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 them because well it's for me it's more easy than the glue the the foot on the model is as well what i do is something like this i put a little bit of glue on the foot and then i glue all the So we have the moss. I don't know if you can you can see how to do so. You can see it better. Some kind of light. Okay. This is the body complete we have the complete shape of the body and we are almost ready to dress up the in this step we can paint or color the the body of any skin color you want as we will build something like that when these kind of figures are biker, we only need uh, the arms to color the skin and the rest of the body we don't need to color because it's inside of the clothes. And the head, we will glue the head at the end so we can manipulate and glue all the parts very well. So we, we will color the neck of the picture and the arms. That's where we are this is the place we will see the skin color um talking about the clothes in this case the, of the bikers i designed different types of the, of the clothes you can choose which sorry which one you want we have oh my god different kind of three color of pants the the shirt the jacket boots different colors so you can mm, choose what you want and and color a few um, dress a few want and this is some uh, bandanas and depending of the, of the of the team of of the biker and uh, this is the patch so jim has asked me to do some patch with the new track logo and i designed some of them so we can glue them at the end and it will be something like something like that too. If this is when you build uh, 10 biker by sample and uh, you want them all together with the same uh, the same patch so you can use all the same so you have all the, the same team uh, to dress up the model the figure we start with the pants here you have all the information in the in the diagram, in the instructions. So don't be too much worried about it because I, I try to explain all the steps. We start with the pants. The left or right is actually, well, no, sorry, we start with the boots. And this is the five steps. We start with the boot, then with the pants. 
and then with the this part of the, the shears all the completed the shears and then we finish modeling with the the jacket and accessories of, of we want and the end with the punch as the first part is required a little bit of handling of modeling and i don't know well we will choose black black pants for this time uh, yeah we we need to color the model so you know, that's what i prefer this kind of marks as they are alcohol basket you can color very very easy oh, difficult to see here we color the part of the only the part that, that is showing we don't need to color all just some part of course the hand because the hand one of the main part of we can see of the, of the figure and the neck because perhaps we can see some part of the neck and of course the head but the head we will work on it at the end so we can model of the glove without damaging the, the head so let's continue with the model we, say we will choose for this time i don't know by example the, the black pants uh for this uh, well see yes in the s scale or 164 scale or the one oil scale this is a little bit bigger 148 scale i uh, when uh, you buy the kit of the of the the picture you will have you will see that the cloth is pre-cut it's made by la laser so you don't need to cut too much just in the dots, yeah. Uh, here in the video, you can appreciate too much, but here you have a dot where you need to cut the, the, the piece of the band. As you can see, the, the part is attached. But this is, uh, I designed like this as you make it easy to work on it. And, okay, let's try to cut one part of the band. Uh, okay, let me cut and then let's play you something. With the pants, you have to make sure that you, you have left and, uh, and right. So you need to see which part you are attaching to the model. Uh, what I did is uh, in the design they have uh, this this uh, dot or this uh, white. It's it will be the front of the of the leg. So with this one you can you can uh, see which is the left and which is right. Using the model, you can you can uh, guess which is one so well no we need to start with the boots sorry about that it's the same all, all this is the same time play you have pre-cut parts and you have a number of the parts so in the stock in this Diagram instruction you can see the A, the B, the C, so you can follow 
witches one because as they are too small you can uh, confuse which is one by using the the letters we will find you can uh, easily wield we we'll start with the a this is what i was talking at the first the, the first part normally in a plane or in a car or tank you don't fold too much the the, the piece of the paper in this for the figures we will need to work more the the piece of the paper it's more like papier mache something something like that okay for for the clothes i will use white glue because as this is water based glue it's better for paper to smooth the surface so we can work better sometimes i prefer to let them uh, set a little bit just a few seconds to get uh, inside of the paper it gets and it must move faster and then we oh, it's difficult to show how to do it here in the in the camera we attach this part around the leg the the, the foot Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see part of the boot. This is the front of the boot. Okay. And we have the other part. Oh, yes. For a bet better result, you need to color the borders because I don't know if you can see the border of the paper is white. So it's, it's better if we color of, of the same color of the part, the border of the paper. And then the same, all, all time is the same. Color borders, all the glue, and then work on the body. We let them a little, some seconds to set the glue. This is tricky, a little bit. Oh, sometimes the glue is faster than I can work. Okay. Well, I think I need more glue. Mm -hmm. And then you work a little slightly press the part into the body. In this case, the glue has not okay, was 
dry so fast. So I need a little bit more. Put a little bit of glue and then again, work slightly, press the part into the body so you can cover all the foot like like uh, boots. This is a different style of paper modeling. Let the piece get dry. And then you have the boots. Mm, I don't know if you can see, well, not too much because it's too small and my camera is not good. But we will see the overall work. And then this is the right food. So we will continue with the other food. We cut out the pad, the first pad in the front of the the boots that we, that we have. Then we glue. We let them get inside of the paper a little bit to smooth the paper. Just some seconds and then again. Put on the foot and wrap to follow the shape of the, the foot. Slightly pressed to set the piece. And let it dry. We cut out the other part of the boot so we can finish all the the boots, color the borders. Uh, sometime perhaps uh, now I'm missing to color the border because uh, I'm trying to work faster just to show you how how is the paper human, how you can wield it. But it's is uh, when when you get a costume to build them you will do it faster and uh, with the old well faster now you you need the time to build it and then the same you lose and dry wrap around the shape And we almost finished the both boots. We wrap around the leg. So the idea is to get the shape of the wood boots. So we have the both boots. Uh, I don't know if you can. Mm. I don't know how to how to focus the camera. So more or less. Okay. So we can continue with the pants. As I explained before, we have left and right. Let's start with this is uh, in this case it's uh, it's not important which uh, start with left or right, but 
we will color the borders so we can have a better um, result of the so we can we don't have this uh, white border it's not decided to match so we we color this the with us almost the same color of the of the pan so we smooth the uh, white border of the paper because it's it's an alcohol when you glue we don't uh, mix uh, the color with the glue so one of the other options i use alcohol markers because with uh, normal white basset glue when you white basset mar uh, bend when you uh, glue the part it's dissolved and it's a little bit complicated uh, this is uh, well this is the same you have here in the instruction is better to start in the rear part of the leg and then we wrap around the leg so we can we start from the behind and then wrapping in the front we glue the which is supposed the the rear part so you can uh, smooth the surface then we glue in the back of the of the figure slightly pressed This is one of the trick parts. We need to press so we can, uh, what we need to find is to follow, follow the shape of the 3D shape of the body. Inside of the leg. Okay, and press until the glue has set and dry. Okay. We let them a little bit to dry. And um, yeah. We continue with the other. Glue, glue, glue. This is all about glue. Let some seconds to the glue set and then be very careful to wrap around the leg slightly press the part into the don't worry if you bend because it's it's better because the original clothes cloth are some trees and and bend bended parts something like that so what we need to find is kind of natural shape and then press 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 to find the this are the side of position of the If you need to put more glue, you, need, you can uh, you can put it. 
So I'm working a little bit faster. So we can try to finish the model. But it's better when you are when you have all your time to to build. Okay, I need more glue. Let's see, this is different from normal from a paper modeling. Because here we bend a lot the, the part, so we can emulate the natural natural cloth. Mm -hmm. And this is you can do it very carefully yeah, and slightly press so we can find the same shape of the, the leg. Oh, it's difficult to, to focus the camera. Okay. Almost at the first part. So we have part here of the pan, glue, and press. Okay. We have the first part of the pants. Uh, I don't know if you can see well. It's difficult to see. Um, so we have. So we are going about the time. We have time, right, to continue building or. We're about an hour in right now. I mean, yes. so I think we, we see continue what, to what build has to the be model, done, right? Paul, I think you've done a great job. Well, I don't know. I'll leave it up to everybody yeah, else. Do this... you want to finish it or have you seen how to do this? For me, I continue, but this will take a little bit longer. So I don't know. It's just you are. You can. You need to tell me what to do exactly because of, I can stay stay here for <laughs> several hours. But I don't know. How about you? If you want to continue, or um... why don't we? So we what, what does everybody up? think? I I think we may have seen enough about how to build it. It, it honestly seems pretty straightforward. You know, once you get the framework done, it's just a matter of wrapping the clothes around it, which in itself, to me, seems yes, yes. like it's a pretty easy task. Exactly. It's a little time consuming, it's, certainly. It's hard. It's, it's take, it, it takes time, but it's, uh, well, it's, it's the same, all the same glue, and then the wrapping around, and, uh, and this is uh, most of the of the job, you know. And uh, well, perhaps I can. Uh, I wanted to explain you about the head because uh, it's it's white, it's uh, raw. Oh, it's, it's quite difficult to see here. It's too small. It's too small. The head. I can not see. And uh, what I do is uh, let the head at the end. So, because when we are working, by example, this one, wrapping around and modeling and glue all the, the parts, it's better to don't have the, the head because you can, perhaps you can touch and uh, you need to put the parts. And 
for me it's always better to to glue the the head at the end and before gluing the head you need to also color the head you can use again uh, what, uh the like market paint or any acrylic paint alcohol alcohol paint whatever you want so you are accustomed to to use and the flesh color if you want uh well it's, it's very small you can really need to to also paint the eyes mouth all these details and uh this is a paint job let's say about and then when you have all the all the figure dress up you can you can glue the hair that's in the position as you decide also you can you can uh, paint some hair on the model So we, we have the, the hair. Let's glue this. Let's glue this now the, the head. So we we can see. One drop. And okay. We dry. And this is how you build a paper human. Well, it's not finished, but but it's quite the same uh, job every time. Just put it the pants, the shears, every details. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the model. It's something like that. You. What I choose now is just a easy stand up position, so you can stand by itself the the figure. But you can choose a seat one. It's as bending the leg, the arms. You can choose some. Um, sitting position so you can put inside of the engine of the of your model you can build a very nice sand of in in a diorama and uh, well uh, oh. uh this is basically the same uh, work to build uh, all the paper humans. Paula, Paul, I can't uh, if I you might ask you a question, second. please. Yeah. Paul, oh, I missed it, but very front of your presentation, and I apologize for being late. Whose paper kits are these? Are these things that you've who's, designed? Sorry, who's what? So, yes. Yeah, where do these paper well, templates uh, come from that you have? I designed it by myself. I, uh, I use uh, 3D software to find the body shape. And then <sighs> what, I, what, I, what I did is something like this. With the 3D shape, I get uh, the template in different uh, thickness of the of the cardboard. So, with some mm, some cardboard, you can build the two D shape, something like that. And uh, this was very was made impressed. By You've done a great job. I, 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 <coughs> oh, very thank you. 
Very thank you so much. How this is um, the second version of yeah. the, the, the paper Zuma because the, the third version is what I did is a full 3, 3D shape of, of paper pulp. pulp. And you have a very smooth surface in comparison with the, the layers. Unfortunately, for this small scale, I cannot do at the moment with the paper pulp to get a, a better smooth, smooth surface. But well, my, it's, uh, I'm still working on it. And uh, I hope uh, in the future I can, I can get something like that. And uh, if you want to get one of the models, you can address to my website. Um, Jim will uh, put a link, I, uh, I think, yes, link, uh, Jim. You can put the link of the, of the site. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, yeah, Paul, that. you happen to model, you happen to model the same scale that Sorry? I do, one to 64. And that's very well done. And if there's things that we're missing in our scale, it's people. And I'm very surprised at how well these look once they're all painted. You've done a great job. Yeah, uh, I'll second that. These these Thank look you. fantastic. Yes, uh, it requires a little bit longer time. And well, I invite you to to build some of them. If you give me what I need uh, is ideas about uh, what kind of figure to design. So I was talking with Jim, so we can try to make a little bit uh, contest to, if you give me ideas, um, we can choose the best ideas and I will give you a, a for free some of the model once it's designed. Uh, we can do something like that, uh, right Jim? Uh, we can collect ideas about the, regarding our people and uh, yes, we well, can. Uh, to see which is, which is better and uh, in, in fact what you the can winner we, I can give you a, I can give uh, the winner a pack of uh, several figures so of the idea of he choose something like that I think that's great I, I think that's very uh, very gracious of you uh, and the people can uh, go directly to your website we I'll have it posted on my Facebook page in the morning and you can uh, click on a link uh, yeah. to uh, to link to his uh, website, and then uh, the winner uh, you get the free models. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yes, yes, yes. I well, I guess we can do something like that Very in kind. new tracks. Uh, uh, do some kind of uh, requests or <coughs> contests, something like that, to to hear what people need. And uh, well, uh, we choose the, the the five best ideas, and uh, and uh, I design it, and then uh, the winners get uh, some fee. So they can they can try. I, the I can think of three right off the top. Miners, lumberjacks, yeah, two, and cowboys. The two best ideas. <laughs> so let me see. Well, it could be uh, so we can we I will talk with Jim so we can uh, do some kind of uh, a question or something about which is the, which is the best idea, you know, something. And uh, yes, by example, which idea do you have? You will, okay, will want to have in the. the Paul, what scale okay. do you make well, these in? Uh, do you make them in S scale, O scale? Uh, at the moment, for for N tracks or trains, I have O scale. It's one forty one forty eight, I think. Which is, I don't remember. It's uh, it's about well, O scale. It's something almost uh, three centimeters uh, tall. The, this is at the moment is um, S scale and O scale. 
this is for the train side. Smaller, uh, it's a bit difficult to build and then this dress up. I am thinking about N scale, something something like this one. We are one two hundred fifty. They're very very small, something like the old always uh, um, all the same layers yeah with layers you can build the full shape 3d uh, perhaps i will build in any, any scale in a zero scale at the moment i don't have then we have this scale is 133 it's about three and a half centimeters tall and 125 is about the five or yeah almost seven centimeters tall and this is the scale i have right now and uh, i think if you need some which scale do you think do you need another model Do you think you, you, you need another scale? Or no, I vote for 148 okay. O scale. No, <laughs> so 148 is this one, yeah, and S scale O scale. This is the O scale, the S scale, yeah, this this one. This is the what is what the I scale I am um, about to know. Mm. And uh, yeah, I what will, I think is so I great like about them, you can all uh, your position them any way you want to. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is the the my what idea of the paper. So human. great about them, you, you can, can position them. Will. Build the figure in the position of Juan. Yes, uh, this is the first thing yeah. that motivated me to 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 create this project. You know, with one figure, you can post every every everything you you want. And uh, well, I will try to hear all your requests and uh, working oh, with Carol. with Jim to to create more more different types of, of figures. And what um, I will thank do, you I, thank you so yes. much, Paul. And thank you to you, all all of you, to see what I've been doing. And uh, it's a pity we don't we couldn't finish, but it requires more time. And maybe we can do another another kind of video or something like that. I'd like that. No, I, 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 I do think this is interesting. And I think it'll be and, helpful for people to see how they go together. I have a video, but not the uh, in uh, S scale. I have for for one thirty three. So um, we can try to work with another S scale, just so you, the people can uh, watch it and review or something like that. Well, I Enough. thank you so much for doing this, Paul. This has been very gracious of you and. Being it's uh, one o'clock your time over there, I, that's uh, <laughs> well, fantastic. In fact, it's, in fact, it's two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's, it's a little late, but it just it doesn't matter. It's just I like I like this. I like all the all the work, and I um, always uh, wants to help all you. You know. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you to you. Thank you to you. And uh, we talk about the contest. Yeah, I will call you. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, I've, I've got uh, one other thing that I'd like to do before we leave, if you've got just a few more minutes. Yeah. Um, guys, one, one of the things that I'm thinking of doing is uh, seeing if there's interest after we have a modeler talk like Paul did tonight. Uh, is there an interest for show and tell for anybody? Would you like to bring a model that you've built and show and talk about it? Would you like to build a model 
or, or bring a model that you're having trouble with and talk about what the problems are? Would you like to have as part of this a show and tell? Well, I've got a problem model right here. I, I screwed up with my measurements, made the body too short. Don't know how oh. I did that, but I, I did that. I can't help you. You're on your own. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Uh. Well, listen, I showed that to Al Judy the other night, and he just looks at me and goes, how, how'd you do that? I still don't know how I did it. <laughs> Everything else fits well, great. That would be okay, Jim. Short. Yeah. Sometimes happens. Is... So if you'd like to do that, that that's fine. Yeah, I just need to have some idea so I can start talking about it or make sure people that are coming in uh, know about it. I think it'd be really interesting. I can second that. That's great. I'll start trying to talk about it then. Second thing Good. that I want to talk about, and this, this may get a little more complicated. I believe that these Zoom meetings can be a substitute for the, for the great honor that I had to be able to sit by my mentor's left side and watch him build models. And he would always send me home each week with a project that I was supposed to accomplish. And then when I brought that project back, he would criticize the project and, and tell me what I was doing wrong and how I could improve it and what I needed to do. What I was thinking about was, was having a scratch built project that would be built a little bit each week and everybody that wanted to be a part of it could build that part. And then the following week, we come back and we see what everybody's problems are, if any, what issues anybody's having, and then build another small part of that project. Wouldn't, like have, to buy a kit. Wouldn't have to buy any kits because that's what I was trying to get away from. And that's why I was thinking about a scratch built project. We decide what this project is, it makes no difference to me, it could be a structure, whatever. Uh, but it seemed to me that this might be that, that one thing that's missing from a lot of the clinics and so forth. And that is the active participation of each person actually getting in on the building part of it and then getting some kind of feedback or some kind of ability to ask questions about how they're doing. I, I do like the idea, Jim. I think it could work. Mm -hmm. Seems interesting. What project do you think people can, is going to build? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know what the project should be right now. I'm just trying to come up with ways of making this what I believe it can become. And that is a way to really learn something and help each other learn and, and benefit one another. And that's, that's why I'm suggesting these two things. Interesting. Yeah. I like the idea. Well, let's Anybody hear else? what people think about well, the project. Well, you know me, Jim. I'm game. Okay. All right. That's all I got. I appreciate everybody coming and, and uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. I know uh, I, I certainly appreciate everything that Paul did tonight. Thank you so much, Paul. And we'll be in touch tomorrow. Thank you to you for the opportunity. And thank you, everybody, to, to watch uh, all the process. I, I hope you. That they like that F4 again. I hope they like it. You can review the video. I think Jim will upload the, the full video so you can. Uh, review and watch it again and if you have any question you can ask me can ask Jim or whatever and uh, and uh, I will try to, to do the contest up with, with, with talk and uh, yes I hope all you like the the project paper human is still it's one year uh, one one and a half year old and I'm still working on it so well it's going mm. to take more time
All right, so the next meeting is Saturday, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And uh, Kevin Spavey is going to be uh, the featured modeler. Kevin's gonna talk about some of his landscaping, some of his locomotives and some of the uh, structures that he's built. And I hope you all can uh, all come back and meet Kevin. Have a good evening. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, Thank Jim, you. one last thing. Yeah. Jim, one last thing. I was wondering if maybe you, Mike Warman, and I can uh, spend a few minutes at the wrap up here after people have signed off. We have a presentation for you in two weeks, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. Do you have That's a few great. Do you have a few sure. moments to spare? Thank yes, you. Sir. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, if anybody uh, wants to be uh, and, and do things like Paul did tonight, be the featured modeler, just let me know. You know, I mean, I, I think we all have so much to offer that uh, it's it just, you know, this is an opportunity is the way I look at it. And the, uh, the more the better. So right now, this may surprise you, right now we're booked up till the 1st of July with modelers. Terrific. Uh, that are going, that are between, and that's May and, and I mean, uh, Wednesday and Saturday. And they're all different, uh, different kind of things. We've got one person coming who's going to talk about a brand new method of control of our locomotives in any scale. And it's all done by your cell phone. That's all you need. Cell phone, locomotive, <laughs> track, you're running. I'm game, but hey, I have to be here anyway, so I might as well be up. <laughs> well, I mean, you may learn something. Who knows? <laughs> well, it's, it's, I'm, I'm game for learning. Make your models bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. See you Saturday. Thank you. And I'll stay longer. Take care.